Hello everyone, Crash here. Welcome to the channel. We're going to do a little unboxing of this new CPU cooler I got. It's the Lipa Aqua Changer 240 all-in-one water cooler. Welcome to RTA Motorsports. All right, so we're gonna get into the unboxing of this. Um, the brand is Lipa. It's kind of an off-brand of Enermax. So if you haven't heard of them, but you heard of Enermax, it's it's the same deal. And I was actually looking to get the um, the Lickmax 2 uh, 240 from Enermax. Um, recently, there's been a lot of reviews and a lot of good pointers towards the um, the Lick Tech 240. That was the prior model. Now they have the Lickmax. 2 240 and when i was comparing them they had this with the um Intermax side by side over at fry's it became immediately apparent that the two coolers are almost identical um i'm going to post some pictures up in this video here that's going to show you know the one thing that Intermax was kind of raving with their new cooler was this um central channel uh, diffusing plate that they're um, utilizing for their uh, for their cooler and if you look on the back of the box for the Lipa it has the identical picture uh, almost zoomed out and as well as their um, their cooler itself is the same size as far as the dimensions go uh, but I'm just going to go over the dimensions. Uh, the actual radiator is 120 millimeters wide uh, by uh, 274 millimeters long. Um, and the thickness of the radiator itself is 27 millimeters. Uh, so, like I said, we're going to do an unboxing. We're going to get right into it right now. See how it looks inside. Okay, so when you first open it up, you have the book I just threw on the floor <laughs> and a little bit of styrofoam. And the book just goes through the installation. It looks like it has um, a little bit of explanations of the back plates to use for the different types of sockets you have and different CPUs. Also goes through the installation of the fans. So that's that. A little bit of styrofoam. So on the inside, you can see here that everything is kind of um, situated real well in the box. Looks like everything's protected real well. In the middle, you have the two fans. We get into those in just a moment. And right here towards the front of the box, you have the pump. And wrapping around to the back is the radiator. So it looks like It's like it's just that's pretty much it so you can see the pump there everything's well protected everything's wrapped um, nothing is dusty or damaged inside the box it looks like they have it well protected um, let's take the plastic off of that and we'll get this box down and out of the way oh, we actually have one more little box here and that looks like that is all the hardware for mounting it make sure there's nothing underneath here nope that's pretty much it that's all that's in the box itself so this is the radiator itself doesn't look like there's any damaged fins from uh, from the factory Pretty nice, clean, just black design. 
Then on the other side is the pump itself. Kind of curious to see if this is like a, a Cooler Master source pump or what type of pump this may be. Um, right there is the actual plate. And it looks like, I'm gonna try to get this closer to the camera, right there around the Lipa design, those two little uh, plastic pieces are actually red LED lights that will show that the pump is on. I know the, um, the Enermax, the prior one, didn't have any LEDs on it, I believe. So it was hard to tell whether or not the actual pump was running because it's so quiet. So I'm imagining that's probably why they put LEDs on this one, as well as the Lick Max. So we're gonna go into the fans. Oh. So you have two four pin fans. There's one there. Now the, uh, the one thing that made me decide to go this route, obviously besides the price difference, because the Lick Max over at Fry's rate right now is uh, $89. This one was $10 less. Uh, like I said, the dimensions of the radiator as well as the pump flow uh, was rated to be the same. The TDP on both of them is 350 watts, which seem, seemed to be a little bit too much of a coincidence. Um, the central diffusing plate, which is their little um, newest feature that they're claiming all over the box, kind of enhances their cooler, looks identical. Uh, but on this one here, the fan static pressure is actually a little bit higher, goes up to 4.5 millimeters of water. And the uh, fan airflow on max is uh, 103.6 CFMs, which was a little bit higher. Um, but yet the noise rating on both of them was the same at a max of 35 decibels. So, you know, to me, this just seemed to be a little bit of a better deal, uh, $10 cheaper at Fry's. And that's pretty much all I got for the unboxing. Um, pretty simple unboxing, very quick but you don't get much as far as the all-in-one coolers are concerned. Um, and I hope it answers any questions that you guys may have had on the uh, Lipa because it wasn't a brand that I even knew about until I was shopping for them uh, for an all-in-one cooler and I kind of came across it on a forum. Um, so again, I hope you all have a great day and definitely check out this Lipa all-in-one cooler if you're looking for a good bang for the buck.